Hey, it's Roger, and this is going to be a tutorial on um, how to color your cold porcelain without acrylic paints and markers or anything like that. So first, of course, you'll need your cold porcelain, and I'm just going to take only some. So here I have some. I'm just going to put the rest back to the plastic wrap. Okay. So... I'm going to roll that into a ball and then just flatten it. And then you'll get a napkin or any surface that you can damage and throw away that's disposable, I guess I could say. And a pastel of your color. So I'm just gonna use this brown because it kind of looks like chocolate and I'm kind of going for that color from one of my projects. So I'm just gonna go like that. And for acrylic paints, I don't like using acrylic paints. That's why I'm making this tutorial because using acrylic paints will make your um, cold porcelain sticky. And if you use too less of an amount of acrylic paints, um, I mean, too less amount of um, cold porcelain with acrylic paints. And then it might turn liquidy. Like, making your own, like, whipped cream with the clay, it might turn it into, like, that. So that's why I'm using a solid and not liquid kind of color. I'm kind of coloring. Thing. And you're just going to use your fingerprints that you got from that pastel. I put it in here, and then you're just going to gently tap it. And you'll collect it. And then you'll close and just keep mixing it like that if it doesn't get that color you want you can just keep adding more or different pastels colors that's what I like about pastels because you can blend the colors and like paints where um, if you use too much paint it won't work So now I'm going to add a different color. There you go. No, wait, this is the same color. Here's a different brown I could use. I want to make a grayish brown, I guess. ball and there you have it that's how to color your cold parson bye